Can you imagine a world where companies didn't push the boundaries of thin and light? Some of you may mock these efforts, but that doesn't change the fact that the best-selling smartphones in the world today keep getting thinner and lighter. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and let's compare the thinnest of the crowd. This is Oppo R5 versus iPhone 6. If we have to state the obvious, then yes, the Oppo R5 looks like a squashed iPhone 5S, but it's not until you actually use these phones side by side that you get to notice just how different they are. Both devices feel great in the hand, but believe it or not, the Oppo R5 is significantly thinner than the iPhone 6 by almost 2 millimeters, even though the camera hump is not going to help them. The smooth curves of the iPhone 6 give it a smoother feel, but the polished chamfers of the Oppo R5 do it almost the same justice. Even so, the R5 can tend to feel massive since it's 10mm taller, 7mm wider, and almost a full ounce heavier than the iPhone 6. You could even say that this comparison would have been more suited for the iPhone 6 Plus and not the iPhone 6. The R5 sports a 5-inch 1080p AMOLED display compared to the 4.7-inch 750p iPhone 6 display, which is IPS. Both displays are gorgeous and very accurate, uh, but uh, the Oppo R5 display can tend to be more dazzling at some cases and scenarios. Internals are significantly different though, and where it would be pointless to compare them. What matters most to you is that the R5 has a slightly bigger battery at 2000 mAh, and you can fully charge that battery in less than an hour with its VOOC Rapid Charger. In the case of the iPhone 6, you don't have this technology, but you do have more storage options and an extra color option, and uh, that could be important to some of you as the R5 only includes 16 gigs of non-expandable storage. Where things are completely different is in the software. The Oppo R5 is powered by its ColorOS 2.0.1 on top of Android 4.4.4, and the iPhone 6 is running iOS 8.1.2. ColorOS is similar to iOS in that there is no app tray, and where every application you install goes to endless home screens. But it's different in that it resembles the old days of iOS with its skeuomorphic UI where ColorOS values variety by giving you an insane amount of customization through free downloadable themes, wallpapers, widgets, camera modes, etc. iOS is bare bones in pretty much every way. Some of these extras from ColorOS are gimmicks, like drawing shortcuts to services as you slide from the bottom, but some of these, like the camera modes, are actually really cool. Sadly, it's not until you actually use each device side by side that you learn to value what's important. See, the biggest problem with this particular version of ColorOS is that it can really bog down the phone with extensive use, and where iOS clearly seems to be something that was made for the hardware that's pushing it. We actually contacted Oppo, and they are soon to release a software update to fix some of the crashing issues that I have with the launcher. And in the case of iOS, there is no exception here either. You remember some bricked iPhones with a recent update in the past. If you're worried about either device burning your hand while pushing some graphics, don't. I've really never ran into cases where the iPhone 6 becomes uncomfortable, and uh, even though you do notice that the R5 heats up a bit because it's thinner, you know, Oppo was really smart and for some reason the heating is at the top of the phone and uh, therefore you never really feel it in your hand until you reach out to it. And even so, it's not really something we'd call uncomfortable. Battery life on both phones is comparable as well. Both devices have gotten me through the day on a single charge, but I have to give a hand to the Oppo R5 with its rapid charger. I've gone from 20 to 90% in charge in less than 20 minutes at times, and that is just unbeatable. The iPhone 6 is really fast to charge as well, but not compared to Oppo's Vuk Rapid technology. It's just night and day. Where things get interesting is with phone calls. You'll notice that there is no speaker on the R5, and that's because Oppo uses the earpiece as a front-firing speaker, and it's just as loud as the bottom-firing unit on the iPhone 6. Over regular calls, people couldn't tell the difference between one phone or the other, and the same could be said about the speakerphone. Camera performance is where things get tricky. The R5 sports a bigger 13 megapixel count than the 8 megapixel on the iPhone 6 camera. And you also have a better selfie camera with the 5 megapixel shooter and 85 degree angle lens on the R5 compared to the iPhone 6. 
That being said, the R5 also gives you a ton of additional shooting modes that really make this camera useful, like Super Macro for example. But in real world use, the iPhone 6 is more accurate and faster at taking photos than the R5. Even launching the camera application is much faster on the iPhone, but again, that could be due to the software bugs. And the same can be said with video. Both devices shoot really good video, but uh, the iPhone 6 has an extra kick. And uh, in the case of the iPhone 6, you do end up enjoying the time-lapse mode a lot more, and uh, you really don't get those options with the R5, in addition to better slow motion options on the iPhone 6 as well. I guess it's best to end this comparison with a very interesting reality of Android users. Rarely would you ever hear an Android user say they don't like the iPhone for its hardware, what they don't like is the operating system. And if you're one of them, then the R5 is definitely your best chance at getting some premium hardware that's running your favorite operating system. If you value variety, customizability, elegance, and you want to save an extra $100 on the price tag, then the Oppo R5 is your best pick. If you value reliability and elegance at a steeper price tag, then hey, the iPhone 6 is your best pick as well. We've got more coverage of the Oppo R5 coming very soon in addition to our full review, so make sure you follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well, you can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, I am Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now. Thank you very much for watching and we will see you on the next video.